I'll say. I'll say. I'll say. Hey, everybody. Hi, from Atlanta. Um, so I just wanted to post one more thing, um, one more tribute to uh, Stephen Sondheim, because uh, my story of meeting him is uh, slightly ridiculous and slightly embarrassing. So I figured I'd just say it instead of <laughs> tell it in a video instead of trying to write it out. So there'll be a lot of name dropping in this because I'm fabulous and I work with a lot of incredible people. So you're just gonna have to accept it. Um, but so this was back in Chicago. Um, I posted a picture earlier of uh, me standing behind Mr. Sondheim and this would have been the same night, I believe. Um, it was uh, for Passion at the Ravinia Festival in Chicago. Lonnie Price directed it. It was, uh, the cast was unbelievable. Uh, it was Patti Lapone, Michael Cerberus, Audrey McDonald. Um, yeah, but couldn't ask for a more incredible cast. So. I did three shows at Ravinia, um, three Sondheim shows in a row that were all uh, directed by by Lonnie. Mr. Sondheim could not make it to uh, A Little Night Music, which was the year before, but he finally was, he was he was planning to, and then he got sick. Um, so he did finally make it for Passion. So of course, when you hear that Stephen Sondheim is going to be there um, in your vicinity, I don't know how else to describe, to describe it other than it's like someone just said, uh, Oh, God is about to show up in your backstage area. Could you please go up and say hello to him? Uh, so of course, it's the it's the biggest thrill for, especially for a musical theater person. So this was actually for a preview. Uh, Mr. Sondheim was there. He watched the preview. Um, and then he was going to give us notes the next day uh, before we opened. But after the preview, we went to this little tiny Italian restaurant that uh, Patti Lapone loves. She had done several shows there in Ravinia. This is in Illinois, Highland Park, Illinois. She found a little tiny Italian restaurant that she loved. So we all went there, um, and I mean tiny. Uh, so it was the, the cast and uh, the musical director and of course the, 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 the head of Ravinia. Um, so I was in the ensemble, I was one of the soldiers. So of course there was a, there was a pecking order for, for the tables and all the stars were at one table with Mr. Sondheim and Lonnie, et cetera, et cetera. Then the rest of us were sort of two tables behind, but we were all in a small room, we could all see each other. So I kept debating, I said, you know, do I go up, do I say, introduce myself? I'm in the show, so I'm not a weird stalker, um, but it just was like I was a nervous wreck. And, you know, what do you say to Stephen Sondheim when you meet him? Uh, so I, at, at one point I decided, oh, I don't think I, you know, if it happens, it happens, but I'm not going to force it. So I uh, was up at one of the, the tables. They had sort of a, a little buffet for us. It was a private little gathering for, for all of us. And I was by myself. I wasn't really paying attention. And uh, I suddenly look to my left and there is Mr. Sondheim looking over the same selections. So I'm standing there. So of course, like, well, I have to introduce myself. Just do it. So I, <laughs> so I turn to him and I say, hello. And he says, hello. And I say, my name's Steve. And he says, so's mine. Beat, beat. And I turn and I walk away. <laughs> and all my friends from the cast who were sitting with me at the table, of course, saw this whole thing happen. And I'm sure they heard it too, because it was close enough. And they were in hysterics because I'm... <laughs> I must have looked like the biggest dork on earth. So, um, so that was it. That was my... <laughs> That was my ever so um, intelligent, mature, uh, deep into philosophical conversations about life and art introduction I had to Mr. Sondheim. Um, and that was it. The, 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 only, the other time that I saw him um, in person, I mean, he, he gave us notes the next day, but it was I was nowhere near him. 
Um, I was just the soldier who said his name was Steve, so there was nothing else he had to say to me. Uh, then the next time I saw him was a few years later <laughs> when Patty did uh, Gypsy at Ravinia before she went to Broadway with it. And Lonnie directed that production too. So um, I was at the Invited Dress and we were all in the enclosed area after, after it was the final preview. I mean, it wasn't really preview. The, the, the final dress was the preview. So uh, afterwards, and I had done three shows with Patty at this point and I knew Patty well enough. Um, and she was amazing to me, by the way. That's all I have to say. But so after the show, I wanted to make sure that I, I said hello to her and gushed about her because she was unbelievable. Um, and w my ride was about ready to leave, but I'm like, no, I gotta wait. I gotta, I gotta say, I gotta say hey to Patty. So she comes out and there's a whole bunch of people and I'm sort of far away. And then I see her and it's sort of dark in this outside area. And then I see her talking with somebody and she's sort of walking away from the crowd. Well, my ride needs to go. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna run up to Patty and give her a quick hug. So I'm, <laughs> so I'm screaming across this lot, Patty Lapone, Patty Lapone. And I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. And I basically push her friend out of the way and I'm, give her a big hug and I'm gushing about and she was lovely to me she's so happy to see you and I just was gushing about how amazing she was and and I'm just oh how, how incredible and I'm I'm you know I'm uh, just buzzing from the the her performance and the production and then I notice who her friend is and it's Mr. Sondheim I basically pushed Stephen Sondheim out of the way so I could give Patty LuPone a hug so that's how I met him, but um, oh gosh, I'll never forget it. Of course, as much of a dork as I was, uh, yeah. I mean, so much, so many of us are. If you had a chance to meet him, or even just be in a Sondheim show, you know, the social media is flooded with musical theater actors posting pictures of all the Sondheim shows they did, and um, so <laughs> so I will forever have this absolutely dor dorky story of meeting him. But holy crap! Um, am I, do I feel fortunate? And as I posted before, if it weren't for Lonnie Price and coming to Chicago and doing these glorious, fully staged concert versions of Sondheim shows, so many of us may never have had the chance to meet him. You just never know. So, uh, so I will forever thank Lonnie for that. And, um, thank you for listening to my rambling story.